In this video, we'll look at whether potassium carbonate, K2CO3, is ionic or covalent. The short answer is that the K2CO3, this compound here, overall is ionic. But within it, we have this carbonate ion and the bonds between the carbon and the oxygen atoms, that's covalent. When we look at the periodic table, we find potassium. Here's potassium here. That is a metal. And then carbon and oxygen. Here's carbon and oxygen. They're both nonmetals. When we have a metal and nonmetals, it's almost always going to be an ionic compound. So K2CO3 potassium carbonate, that is ionic. Because it's ionic, we should really look at the charge on each of the ions. So we have potassium here in group 1. That forms 1 plus ionic charge. So we just put a plus up there. And we have two of them. So each one of the potassium atoms has a 1 plus ionic charge. The carbonate ion, this is a polyatomic ion. It's a very good one to remember. The whole thing has an ionic charge of 2 minus. So you can see why we need two of these potassium ions to balance out the carbonate ion, give us a net charge of 0. And now we have these positive ions and this negative ion. They're going to attract each other, and that forms the ionic bond. Let's look at the carbonate for a moment. We said carbon, that's a nonmetal. And then oxygen as well, nonmetal. When we have nonmetals plus nonmetals, that gives us a covalent bond. This is also called a molecular bond. So the bond between the carbons and the oxygens in this carbonate ion, they'll be covalent bonds. But overall, the bond between the potassium ions and the carbonate ion, that's going to be an ionic bond. So we consider potassium carbonate to be an ionic compound. This is Dr. V, and thanks for watching.